It's Truck Week right here on Live in the D, and so far we've seen businesses on wheels that deal with fashion, flowers, and fur. But today, it's all about getting a new look or cleaning up the look that you have. Our Chris Delcamp is on the plaza. He's live out there looking at his uh, Sunday best with a truck that's bringing the barber shop to his doorstep. Hey, Chris. Hey there, how you guys doing? So yeah, we got something new every day. And we've all seen the food trucks, everything that comes down to Campus Martian. But today, we have something new. It's the barber truck. I'm here with Anthony, Anthony Radcliffe. He's with Mark Anthony Produ uh, Creations. Creations yes. And he takes this unit all around to bring the mobile haircutting to you. Right. Why'd you get this idea? Well, some of my people that I introduced myself to uh, was the seniors. And what happened was is they started to go to senior living villages. So I wanted to accommodate them. So I decided to park my barber tools up and drive to them. But as everything started to progress, wheelchair accessibility, so I added a trailer. So now they had a comfortability of being in the barbershop, but having access to what they need and what they want. Now we talk, we're talking about, you know, you have a relationship with your barber. You're talking about the people that can't necessarily get out and go to their barber right. anymore. So now they have you and you go out there and you come to them so you can, what, continue that relationship? Continue that relationship because uh, the most important thing in life is, thanks to Adonai, God, is doing what he designed for you to do and to meet and love on as many people as possible. Uh, They've been here for a long time, as far as the seniors are concerned. So they know finance, they know what to do and what not to do. So it's best to get out and speak to as many people as possible. Now, another thing you think of Barbie, you think of maybe guy stuff, but you don't do just guys. I mean, you've got the whole setup here for yeah. anyone, right? Yeah, so it's most of the time, now that the, the ladies are retiring, they like naturals. So they like their hair cut a certain way. So some like afros, some like short crop cuts. So what you want to do is you want to do everything possible to accommodate the person. Now, we're all, I mean, you have the whole unit. You have everything available. you got this old school chair. You said yes. this is about 50 years this old. This is about 50 years old. And he does something that is near and dear to my heart is straight razor shades. If you look over here, he's got a towel warmer. He's got everything you need. Look at this. Warm towels for a straight razor shade. That's to heat up the face and make everything. He's got all the utensils over here. And he says... You have to have the barber label. The only way to have the barber label is to straight razor shave, right? Straight razor shave. You're considered to be a barber if you can hone the razor. Yeah? Yeah. How long does that take to master? Um, it takes quite a, while, quite a while, but it's perfection. That's what barbers do. It takes sometimes a, a person a year, sometimes two years, but you technically can't call yourself a barber unless you know how to use the razor. Yeah. And That's just old school, though. Now, you've been doing this for a long time. You had a place, yes. and you decided to go mobile just because the convenience and everything. How have people taken to it? Now, the people took to it a little different, but who was the most concerned with, I was concerned with, was the seniors. They were actually getting nervous to come out. Some were, were getting to the point where they wanted uh, just a close-knit relationship. And if they trust you, that means a lot. So yeah, family absolutely. members would call. Uh, my dad needs his haircut. I'm out of I'm out of state. I can't bring him. He's in a wheelchair or something like this. Can you go? To, absolutely. Now, how can people get a hold of you if they want you to come out and like you know if you want you to come to the station here and everybody can come out and get a uh, cut the same day? Yeah. How do they get a hold of you? Well, it's just a local number. My number is uh, you know of course it's, uh, I have a website that's being set up on Facebook of course, and the phone number, uh, friends and friendly, basically like oh, a referral. You're busy? Uh, yeah. All right, so here's the thing, guys. I uh, didn't put anything in my hair today, so I'm going all natural, so I can actually get cleaned up. He's going to clean up my neck, clean up my beard a little bit, because I'm trying to grow this beard. It's a little hard going, but it's coming in, and I'm going to get my hair cleaned up, and I'm going to come in and uh, eventually, guys, uh, show you the end product and see, uh, see what he can do out here in this mobile barber unit. Make sure you take a selfie with your phone before he gets to work on you, all right? Oh, we got it. We got oh, the selfie. Right. I love a good before and after. Well, we'll see what you look like at the end of the show. Thanks, Chris. <laughs>